Beginning on June 2nd, 2021, and finishing on June 30, five field school students and volunteers conducted excavations in the vicinity of the smokehouse and gas house, respectively. The smokehouse was also the site of an additional lean-to structure that was further investigated at this time. The site grid was reestablished in three squares, 560 North, 565 East, 565 North, 565 East, and 565 North, 560 East were dug to the bottom of level one, one half foot below the existing ground surface. Squares 560 North, 565 East, and 565 North, 565 East were dug to the bottom of level two, one foot below the existing ground surface. The recovered artifacts classes included ceramics, glass, metal, faunal, and modern materials. Ceramic categories include low fired earthenware, 19 pieces, redware, 10 pieces, creamware, nine pieces, pearlware, one piece, whiteware, 21 pieces, and stoneware, 69 pieces. Ceramics were about equally divided between level one and level two, with the majority being stoneware. 845 fragments of glass were recovered with a distribution of both architectural glass and container glass. The highest count of container glass was in square 565 North, 565 East, level one, closer to the corner of the smokehouse and gas house. The greatest number of architectural glass fragments were located in 565 North, 560 East, level one, closer to the east side of the porch. 277 metal fragments were recovered and most were either cut nails early or wire nails later. Three fragments of bar stock were recovered indicating storage rather than use. A blacksmith's forge during the 2000 excavation has been identified well south of the current work area. One metal mason jar lid with intact milk glass seal was recovered from 565 North, 565 East, level two. Faunal remains were relatively rare with a few bone fragments recovered from 560 North, 565 East, level two. A single pig molar, Sus scrofa domesticus, was recovered from 565 North, 565 East, level two. Modern items were recovered in level one of the three squares and includes miscellaneous form plastic pieces, five plaster doll head pieces, three modern 22 caliber bullet casings, plastic buttons, and one linoleum fragment. Overall, the units produced an ample amount of artifacts that provided an adequate picture of what was happening at the lean-to storage shed near the smokehouse and gas house.